Here, Capricorn. Welcome. Okay. So we're gonna tap into your energies. I'm gonna do I'm doing past, present, and future or you know potential outcome because it could always change. So we'll see what's happening here. And I just want to let you guys know I said it I started with the Gemini, I think the last set of readings. Um because that's when I knew that it went through. Um I set up a PayPal because I had a lot of people asking me how they could donate to the channel. So if you care to donate, buy me a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Um it's in the description box below. I put it right on top so you can see it. You don't have to go searching for it because I got a lot of stuff under there. But you know I appreciate it and um let's begin to see what happened in the past for you guys let's see what happened in the past what do we have going on past energy Oop. i thought i was gonna have one there and dropped okay wait see they keep on dropping but sometimes they're like too many of them i only want one if i can get it okay oh so you walked away from something in the past it's like you know maybe you got tired of waiting or something happened here you say you know it's better just to walk away okay let's see what else we have here and we got two here we have emotional withdrawal and their passion ignited Ooh. so what happened is someone pulled away and someone got all hot and bothered <laughs> okay i don't know what is that Oh my, my god. It almost feels like I think you pulled away from someone maybe because they weren't maybe giving you any kind of attention and that might have got them all fired up. Is that what happened here? Because isn't weird how someone walks away, we have emotional joy and then we have this passion. Okay, let's see if we get on that. <laughs> you know, isn't that the way though sometimes? Okay, so because that's the Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited. Yeah, because someone's not going to give you any um, attention here, you know? What the heck? Okay, okay, so we got four. Yeah, look at that. There's you ended something here because it was a heavy burden, and you did something on your own, and you might be collaborating with someone else now. So this is something, or, the, or you did collaborate with someone. You did something else. You could have actually, what you could have done here, the way these cards are coming out, is that, you know, this was painful. You ended it. It was too much of a burden. You started doing something else. This could be business. This could be a, um, you started a business or you did something else. You're collaborating with others. This could be business. You may have just focused on your own independence, your work here. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify. Okay, so why is the Ten of Swords here? They're not, it's like they don't really want to talk to me right now. It's like being a little, I almost feel like the, like the cards are a little shy. Okay, now we have the Page of Wands. Okay, so maybe there you heard some from someone, maybe after you walked away, it's like, okay. You know, they're reaching out to you. You know, maybe they're younger than you. Or it was like maybe just a little flirty energy here. Let's see about the page of wands. We have here, we have um, an angel. They, they might be saying, okay, you're divinely guided. You're supposed to be together. Okay, what about this um, ten of wands? It's like an end to your burden. She started doing something else. Okay, for that we have... The Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. Look at that. Three tens right in there. So there's definitely work you're completing something. And then but there here was um Okay, so we have like the family here and we have commitment, marriage. You might have ended a commitment or a marriage, or it's like maybe someone had to end a commitment or a marriage and it wasn't happening. Someone wasn't giving you the attention, so you got tired of waiting. Um, okay, let's look at this on Nine of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Tower. Surprise! You 
I think doing your own thing, breaking away, shocked the crap out of this person. They never thought they, they thought they had you. And you're like, you know, I'm sorry. You're not going to be um, dangling that carrot in front of me thinking I was going to wait forever. So why do we have... So every Scorpio energy with the tower, I think you totally shocked this person when you walked away from them. Now this um, Three of Pentacles. Oh, come on now. Stubborn with these cards. Jeez. Okay, oh, we got three. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Hermit. Okay, so now you're collaborating with others or working on something here. You are focusing on your money. It's also there's a lot of time going by. I feel like you've been maybe spending a lot of time on something and saying, gee, almost feels like time's been flying as far as what you've been involved with here in the past. And um, but then we have the Page of Swords. You could be learning something page of swords someone could be telling you something too this person looks like they're whispering to the other person but um here it could be going back to school learning something um the page of swords is very inquisitive wants to learn new things and you this is definitely a very solo energy from you that you've just broke away from someone and did your own thing and i think you just went into um your spiritual practice your um you know just going within and also in the meantime you might be very um intuitive here because we have the hermit here which can be you know looking seeking for answers here too but with the page of swords it's like you're inquiring somehow and um of course i see the hermit as very spiritual so um you might be getting tarot readings too with the page of swords or trying to find out more about something here and it might be about this person but it almost feels like that energy is like slowly just sort of like you know you're too busy with other things, is the energy I'm feeling here. Let me get something on page source. We have the perfume bottle. So this might be something smells sweeter, or maybe someone giving someone perfume or cologne. I don't have a cologne bottle, so we have to go with either male or female with this little per something about smell or scent, or um, maybe someone's giving someone a a. a, a I want to say a fragrance, but fabric wanted to come out for some reason. I don't know. That might mean something to someone. Okay, so I just have to put... Just got two, right? Wait, we have here... Yeah, the Page of Wands. Okay, just two. Okay. So let's see about the Page of Wands. Very younger energy, too. Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. We have here Drama. Mystery. Contact. Okay, so maybe when you walked away from this person, you know, it stirred up something and they and caused a lot of drama, and they were very confused by it. it was a mystery that I didn't. They did not expect you to do that. They thought they had you. They thought you're going to wait until all eternity. Well, <laughs> later, later, alligator. Let's see about this um page of swords. We have oh, we have blank, starting fresh money freedom Ooh, so it seems like you're starting from scratch starting something new starting and it's giving you money this brought in money for you and brought in freedom um, let me get a clarifier on the money yeah money coming in heaven sent because you know what you took care of yourself spirit likes to see that let's see what's happening in the present for you guys what we got going on in the present the Capricornies. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Who's this? Look at that. Stuck, stuck in the middle with you. <laughs> Ooh, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. This is your self confidence, you know? Um, solar plexus. You're building something here. I think you're getting more and more confident about something you're doing. Okay, there's one. You're working on that. Balance. Okay, you're bringing yourself into balance. This would be more like, um, yeah, this is like the justice. 11, bring yourself into balance. Bringing justice into your life. It's like you're focused on yourself now. You're like, I don't have time for you and your games or whatever you're doing there. Mr. Missy, whatever you are. <laughs> Let's see. 
Let's see here. Bring it into balance. You're almost like you might be bringing all your chakras into balance at this time. Oop, this one was flipped. Let's take it. Seven of Wands fighting for something. And this one wanted to come out. So, ooh, look at that. We have the Page of Swords again. Okay. You're really um, inquiring about something or learning something new or focusing on new ideas. Ooh, the Three of Swords, a broken heart. Oh, oh, this one wanted to come out too. Okay, so I think you walked away from this person. They're missing you. They have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. So you're doing other things. And it's like you're fighting for what you want, you believe in. It's like, you know what? They are so shocked that you're doing what you're doing here. You're learning new things. You're trying new things. You're very inquisitive. You're checking into other things here. Um, taking a leap of faith. Balancing something. Getting a lot of spiritual um, communication here, too. Let me get a charm on this page of swords. Okay, so we have, oh, you're very creative at this time. And also, I feel like since you walked away from this person, you know, I look at a lot of people say with spider creativity, a spider is, you know, this is very intricate. It's very, um, it's amazing how they build their spider web. So it's very creative. But I also see that this person's stuck on you. It's like they're stuck in your web. They can't get away from you. And, um... They were thinking it was going to be the other way around. Hmm. Well, they know. Okay, so now let's check out about the Page of Swords here. Why do we have the Page of Swords here? Ooh, we got two. We have the High Priest and Temperance. Ooh. Okay, so we have here a High Priest of Virgo Cancer and a Temperance is Sagittarius Energy. It's like you're very patient. You're balancing things out and there's either something you're figuring something out, balance it, I'm ready to sneeze. There might be something annoying someone or something triggering something here. Maybe allergies. I don't know. I, I really don't have allergies. So every once in a while I pick this up in the, the readings where someone might have it. Someone that maybe is... Or maybe they sneeze when they, they when they get a hit here, an intuitive hit. That could be too. But there's something about sec secrets that you are uncovering here. Because this is very intuitive energy. So you're uncovering something about something here. You're figuring something out. Okay, so that's for the Page of Swords. Now let's see about this Three of Swords. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. There's some kind of communication because of this heartache, this pain. This person's going to contact you because you walked away. They cannot stop thinking about you. They regret how they handled this or what they did here. Let me get one more. And we have here the Two of Wands. They want to try to figure this out. How you can make this work. Oh, oh look at that. Someone's going to get a message or something. Someone's car alarm went off. So that's a message. All of a sudden, they might, yeah, they're going to message you. Look at that. Because they say here is communication, and they're trying to figure something out. And now, um, they might come to your front door, because there my ring went off. <laughs> I'm going to pause this for a minute. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. So, um, so whatever that, that, that beep, beep, or that, you know, the alarm going off, that was actually the person that came to the door. They accidentally hit their panic button on their key fob, and that's what that was. I was like, oh, now I know what that means. <laughs> I wonder if that's what it meant, they said. So, I mean, that might be, you can incorporate that in your reading. Someone accidentally maybe hitting something or sounding something. Or maybe, or maybe you could be getting a heads up. Someone might, someone might know that someone's coming to see you or something. And someone might slip. Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. So who do I have here now? Okay, we have... Did I have charm on someone, right? Oh, yeah, the Page of Swords. That's it? The Page of Swords. Yeah, okay, I did do it, everybody. Okay. So that's what we have to look at here. The Page of Swords. Someone's coming towards you. They're trying to figure out how to do this. Um. Yeah, I think you shocked them by saying, that's it, I'm walking away. Totally did not expect that. That's why I feel like someone's like, holy moly. 
Capricorn. I thought I had Capricorn. <laughs> Likely. Friend or friends love. Okay, so could this be actually so maybe this is someone else coming towards you? I don't know. No, no, no. Because this is someone regretting something. Having remorse. Oh, unless, unless this page of swords, maybe that's with the alarm. Yeah. Maybe a friend or friends is likely to slip. You're finding out something with the page of swords. That could be, see? <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on. As far as a possible outcome, the future, what do we have? Ooh, we have strategies because someone is in some kind of financial uh, constraints here. The cover is beer and someone's trying to figure out how to make this work, how to get some money or something. This could be your energy. This could be someone you're dealing with. What we don't see coming is attachment. Ooh. Now, this card is very interesting because this woman is actually attached to like, you can't even tell, but she's like got like a... a I don't know like she's got a chain on her hands. Can you see that on her wrist? And it's attached to that cabinet or something there. So it's like there's attachment. Someone might have attachment to you because you're the one who walked away, right? Okay, let's see what else we have. You know, I don't know why, but financial constraints. I don't feel, I think this is, is a temporary thing. It doesn't feel like, I don't feel like someone is really in dire straits. I think you're going to be doing good financially. So if this is this person, it might be a, like a, a thing where their money is tied up or something, or they have to wait for something. It's so it almost feels like, yeah, I, the money's there, but I'm not allowed to touch it. If that makes sense. Or there's some kind of negotiation, something being figured out here with that strategy. Okay. Oh, so we have here truth. Someone needs to speak their truth. And then we have harmony, which is a lover's card. So someone might be needing to come in and open up. Mom, we have there's new beginnings here. This is a fool card. So there is some kind of new beginning, but I would be a little leery about that attachment of something. Something might be attached to something that you don't know about. Something might be still Someone's coming in with the truth, so I hope they tell you the whole truth. There is a possibility for a new beginning, but I might have to throw a card on that. I don't want to leave that hanging there. Let's see what else we have. Unless, I, unless it comes out before we get there, but um, I might throw a couple cards on there. Whoop, what do we have? Oh, look at that. So, there's some, either there's competition or there's some kind of... um. Something's up in the air. Something's not decided. We're sideways here on something that's trying to be figured out. Okay. I think that has something to do with the money here for this person. Of course, there could also be, we got this over the harmony, so the lover's card here. This could be someone's not sure about the competition. Which, you See, you're not telling them anything smart. Don't tell them anything. Okay, now I got a couple cards. Ooh, look at that. So we have here the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. This is something, someone coming in wanting a commitment, wanting long term. And this is a major change coming in for you, whatever it is. We have here the Queen of Wands. Look at that. Now this could be your energy or someone you're dealing with, but this is someone that's very attractive, gets a lot of attention, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, the life of the party, a lot of fun to be around. I'm just wondering new beginning. Okay, I'm wondering about this because it's on the bottom here. Let me just put this here. Oops. Put a charm on this queen. A wand. Oh, we have a saw. Now, someone might use a saw. It could be a carpenter, or it could be you know that someone that maybe works outside with the trees. They might be sawing something. There might be something to do with that. But they also could be that someone's cutting out a queen of wands, or the queen of wands is cutting someone out. So let's see. Okay, as far as this um, five of wands sideways, what's that all about?
judgment. Okay, so someone's not has not made up their mind about something here about maybe some kind of competition or some kind of um maybe there's some kind of um discussion and it's not hasn't been decided yet whatever that is. Let's see about this 10 of pentacles commitment. This could be a lot of money too. This could be something to do about ending something or something to do with money, a, ch a major change, a major transition about money or commitment. We have the Seven of Cups. Look at this. Options, choices, confusion. There's something, yeah, there's some something that is very, very confused. There's something still not decided here. Let's see about this death card. That's too many. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to read them. We have here the Five of Swords. This is something, someone starting trouble, arguments, or someone walking away from someone that they can't trust here. And we have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Five of Wands again, competition. And someone needs to, someone's walking away from something. I'm gonna put these back. That's a message for someone. But let's see what I don't want a hundred cards here. Let's see. I'm looking at the Death card. That's like too much, too confusing. But that might be a message for someone. Ooh, we got an oddball here. Okay, I'll take this one. Which is the Devil card, Capricorn, your energy. And this one being odd was in here with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Wands could be something. We have here the Nine of Wands, which is like someone feels like they're, they're running out of time here. The Queen of Wands could feel that. Or there's an attachment. There's a Queen of Wands with attachment, a new beginning. Um, someone might be trying to protect something. Someone might be... Someone's going through a lot here, I think. Trying to get a new beginning, but there's something... Uh, they're attached to something or something's attached to them that they might be stressing them out, worrying about the time. See the clock in the background? Trying to get paperwork done or something done to have a new beginning. Let's see about this Queen of Pentacles here. Definitely could be your energy. A dragonfly. A change, a tra transition here going on. Definitely changes. Okay, and that's on the death card, which is uh, you're going through some big changes here. And it also could be that someone's breaking, ending addiction, um, some kind of attachment here. Look at that. I mean, that's, there could be like lust, there could be like um, a possessiveness, a jealousy, especially with the five of wands coming up too. So it feels like someone's putting an end to that. I almost feel, I almost feel like you're, you're like taking control of a situation and it feels like you woke up to something saying, you know what? I don't need this. There's a, there's a new beginning coming in for you. This, this bothers me. So I'm going to have to put something on that. Let's see about the queen of wands. We have career, sincere, before. So this could be you maybe doing really well in career, getting a lot of attention. Or this could be someone else. Something about the career and being sincere before. Maybe someone is not feeling that way anymore. Let's see about the Queen of Pentacles. Love, money, committed. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I feel like you're more committed to making your money right now because things are going well. And it almost feels like what I'm feeling more than anything is not like you're money hungry, but you're in a groove. And you want to keep the momentum going. Look at that. There might be someone writing you some kind of check or there, you know, money's coming in. Someone's writing you something here. It might be a contract, but there's money involved. Okay, I'm going to take, let's see, let's take, I'll get a deck here so I could clarify. I want to know about this attachment. What is that all about? What's going on? I'm going to take three cards for attachment. What's going on with this attachment? Ooh, the death card. There's an end to this attachment. Someone's ending this. Okay, that's good. Someone's cutting off that attachment. Scorpio energy. We have here. Yeah, we have the five of wands. It's like now there's no longer this debate or this or, or this um 
competition or something. Could someone's getting rid of that? They're cutting it out. And we have the high priestess, and it could be because of secrets. They no longer want to keep this secret, have this attachment of this secret, whatever this secret is. And then we have here, we have the King of Cups on the bottom here too, because there's a lot of love coming in here for you. I This feels like a new energy. Okay, let me see. Get a charm. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have here, What? It, oh, okay, you might be going out for a cup of tea. We're having a cup of tea. I mean, coffee if you like coffee, but it looks more like a teapot, but, you know, oh, gosh. Well, anyway, I think you might meet someone either at a coffee tea or out for coffee or tea or, um, and there might, you might just hit it off. Okay, let's get the words on this one. Oh, it's going to shock you, a tower. Confused after you meet this person, new start and honest. When you meet this person, it might be something that, you know, they might knock your socks off. It might be one of those type of things where you meet this person like, you are very involved with this person or maybe just working things. Should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? Because that's the energy I feel a little wishy-washy on this person. But when this person comes in, it's like, holy moly. They might be very honest up front. You might say, oh, that's refreshing. Because this person here, there's too many secrets. There's too much like... You're not sure if they're telling you the truth is what I feel here. Let's see what we have for signs. So, this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, past, present, and future. We have here, let's see, Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo. Aquarius, Cancer, and Virgo. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, future. Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, and Virgo. I don't know if the, the King of Cups could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but it could be anybody. It could be someone that just has a lot of love to give. Okay, so let's see what letters we have for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for first and last name, and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. Get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have an M, and a V, and a S, and a Y, A, T, M, Q, D, B, L. Okay, letters we have are M, V, S, Y, A, T, M, Q, D, B, L. All right, guys, so those are the letters. All right, guys, so take it resonates, leave it doesn't. Just take the parts that resonate. If something doesn't make sense, something's confusing, that is not for you. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.